Jim Westu has obtained chilling new evidence in her alleged plot to abduct and sexually assault a young child and murder her parents. The suspect, 29 year old Sean Thomas, is jailed on more than two dozen charges, including attempted murder. Thomas allegedly posed as a filmmaker, and FDLE agents say that he succeeded in luring the family to a vacant Longwood home, then backed out. Lush's Bob Keeling joins us live with more on Thomas's text messages with some investigators say he was trying to recruit. That's right, Meredith. The text messages spell out how adults would be murdered, children abused on film, and the footage sold as child pornography, with an ultimate goal of raising enough money to buy a home where detectives say Thomas might keep children captive long term. This is audio of Sean Thomas's arrest in the wake of his alleged plot to kidnap and sexually abuse a child and murder her and her parents. In this vacant Longwood home. In this audio interview, an informant spelled out what Thomas allegedly confided via social media. He had came up with a plan of taking out the parents and then. What are you talking about? What are you talking about taking them out? What are you talking about? Murder. Killing the parents. Yes. He told you that? Yes. Thomas allegedly told the informant he placed ads and drew up this phony talent agency contract to attract parents of young girls. I have an eight year old Saturday night, he said in an alleged text message. I'll need help offing her parents. Get them in different rooms. Dad first, a big knife to the throat. We will even split the cash the parents have on them. In Thomas's alleged text messages, he says he'll make the girl and himself famous by videotaping himself sexually abusing her for hours, then selling the footage as child pornography. Could make enough to actually buy my own home outright, he allegedly said. Then I could keep any of the girls permanently. And in those text messages, Thomas repeatedly refers to quote unquote casting young girls and claim to have made contact with multiple children from 7 to 11 years old. His defense argues that the state will have a very difficult time proving that he actually intended to do any of these things he may have talked about.